My correct people, this one eh, he they choke. This is very choky because the reason I want to actually be part of this, will I call it awareness or will I call it yes, awareness to, to create awareness about what is happening? Because I'm someone that supports the traditional institutions very well. I because I believe in tradition and culture. Yes, because people's tradition and culture, you know, um, showcase their identity, showcase who they are. All right. So I am someone that advocates and advocates of tradition and culture. So why I'm making this video is um, concerning the only of Ife, my people, only of Ife, Oba Adenusi, right? I'm not a Yoruba person, but like I said, um, I support African culture and traditions and their institutions. The only of you, a very young man, oh, very young man, we know why I'm making this video because for those who call on people say eh, that we should hand over leadership to the youth, let the youth do this, let the youth do that. Many people believe that, um, you know, if the youths are handling everything, politics and all that, that things will be fine. Okay. So, and this young man, this man is a youth. By the time he took over this, um, the position, this throne, he was in his 40, either early 40 or 40 on the dots. He was in his 40. So we can still say that he is a young man. All right. Okay. So what actually happened? What's happening now at the palace of the Oni of Ife? It's not about Oba Adeunsi. It's about the palace. It's about the institution. Okay, my people, that is it. I want to look into that this afternoon. But before I continue, I want to welcome you to Inspiration Just with Dora, please. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, you know how I ask you, please. You're highly, highly welcome. You're welcome here. Please click the subscribe button. This is where we discuss real life issues that affect us in the society okay and we try to you know promote things that are of good value and we condemn things that destroy our society that's why i'm making this video so please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so now returning subscriber thank you so so much for coming back yes my people so i was saying this only of ife and the manner the way things are going i want you people to drop your comments at the end of this video in the comment section so please hear me out first and be patient with me at the end please drop your comment in the comment section some people are saying uh, whenever people talk about only of ife and try to criticize or highlight the abnormalities that are going on people say eh, he's a king please leave him alone this and that. We're not talking about him. It is that institution. The only of Ife, we all know, if you have been following his story, if you are not following his story, you can check out, even I've made some videos, okay, on him and other people are really, really into that gist. You can check out the videos. This man, but I can just summarize that this man got married, uh, became the only of Ife, ascended the throne around the age of 40 and shortly after before then he was married to a young lady and uh, shortly after that uh this scandal you know started going around and before you know it, the scandal of uh, women you no know, before you know it, the wife okay uh, left the marriage that's how that wife that he was living with before um this the, the, he became the only left the marriage and then there's this queen i will fast forward the um, naomi prophetess naomi he met that one a christian a prophetess a good singer and all that so prophetess um naomi married him it was controversial but then after some time she left she couldn't stay she left what happened well so many reasons so many stories are out there some verified and unverified okay but where i'm going is about naomi it's not about naomi now today as i'm speaking the only of ife uh, has married more women more women more than you can imagine they are the in the last uh, this last month october there was a time he was marrying them once like almost every day every week he got married until now i, I don't even uh, think i have the correct number of wives he has now but i know they are up to six in this generation the man is in is in his 40s i think he should be around 46 or now so uh, if I'm not mistaken, but he is still in his 40s and 
this man got married to six women. Now, there are so many scandals concerning this whole thing. Scandal of uh, that the women are buying the are buying him now. There's this uh, Miriam. I think, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, she's the queen. She's the, 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 the eldest of the queen, the most senior you can see. Because after Naomi left, I think she's the next one that uh, they only ma got married to. So, so it's like she's the eldest queen now, the old Loris. Now there's this story going around that this they are, they are fighting the women are fighting in the palace when naomi bought the throne with money that she has spent so much money on oni and that's why oni gives her more attention there's this um youngest one that the oni married toby toby is a, a fashion designer and a beauty you know uh yes a fashion designer and artist too well and also she has an ngo she's a so you see that the uh, the story is going around now that many of these women are now complaining that the only doesn't have time for them, that the only does not have time for them, you know, to come and uh, fulfill his marital obligation to them. So people are now saying that even the Toby was uh, complaining that since she got married to this man, he hasn't, she hasn't even been with him. And if you check out on his Instagram page, you see all the marriage ceremony pictures and all that the only wasn't there <laughs> and many of them this man got married to them in absentia and so the lot of uh, crisis going on in the palace now the other day there was this story about miriam and some other person fighting you know so you have the palace now things that are going on in the palace of the only of ife now very you know uh, Terrible things you can say shameful that you the, your ears will not want to hear because of the sacredness or the the the, the, the um, prestige attached to that institution and the only of Ife is the highest I think the most respected of the um, traditional institutions in the Yoruba land I think they all say that the, the Yoruba uh, race started from the Ife so this is like their headquarters and the things that are happening there now the women are fighting every day um um there are story of scandal going on that the only goes about now there was this video going making round yesterday that the only oh no traveled with a side chick so after only has all these women to himself he still goes after side chicks so my people, so what I want you to uh, tell me in this video, I, I, I don't know, what do you have to say about what is happening in Ife now, right now, the palace? Because we, we need to speak out. Don't say uh, he's a queen, king, he should do what he, he wants to do. Yes, getting married to many women uh, by a king uh, is not is not prohibited, it is not, it is allowed. But the way he's going about it and this bringing disgrace, shame, Causing the throne to be to be criticized and uh, you know spoken ill of, it doesn't tell uh, or good of the Yoruba people. I think people should speak out and condemn this. Okay, so leave your comment in the comment section about what is happening at the Palace of Oni of Ife. Now, thank you so much for joining me once again in this conversation. Please, you know, I like it to be interactive. So what do you have to say? Leave your comment in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please just click that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And like this video. Please like, like, like this video. Thank you so much. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.